everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Bacola, a developer advocate working at a big tech company, and I'm gonna be showing you what a couple days look like in my life. So for today, we're gonna be working from home, and then tomorrow we're gonna be working in the office, and I hope you enjoy this video. Sorry everyone that I've been kind of MIA for the past couple days. I've just been dealing with a lot of things, and I needed to take a little bit of a break for my mental health, but now we are back and we are consistent. So in the comments, let me know what type of videos you'd like to see from me. But for this video, I'll be showing you what a typical workday looks like for me. Don't forget to follow me on my TikTok and also on Instagram. And let's get started with the workday. So what am I working on today? Basically, I'm doing this new series where I'm teaching developers who program in Go how Google Cloud can be great for them and all the different ways they can basically use Google Cloud as Go developers. And with all these things, the first thing I need to do, the first thing I need to do is read the documentation that already exists before writing the scripts. Then later today, I'm gonna meet with the PM on this video series, who's the one who wants these videos to be done. And yeah, so we're starting first with the documentation. The cool thing is like Google Cloud has so much much good documentation. So basically I usually spend a couple days reading through the documentation and seeing how I can basically turn a lot of the documentation into video form. That's like the low key version about basically the job I do. Read the documentation, make the documentation into videos so that people can access the information in a different way. Before we can even read anything, we have to make sure we have the essentials, ice cream. We need to insert some joy before you start reading boring documentation. the day I thought it would be interesting to talk about an exciting topic. Oh my god, I'm so scared to talk about this topic, which is the tech layoffs and hiring freezes that have been happening recently. If you're not familiar with what's going on in the world because you <laughs> prioritize mental health so you're not even looking at the news, I wish that was me too. Right now there are a lot of companies, mostly startups and companies that grew during the pandemic that have been doing layoffs. Companies like Coinbase, I think Netflix had layoffs, Zoom had layoffs, basically a ton of companies from small companies to large bank companies are laying off employees. It's not even the tech layoffs that are scaring me, it's the hiring freezes that have been happening in tech. Big tech companies are afraid of an upcoming recession. So even though they have enough money, they like these companies have billions of dollars, they're still doing hiring freezes. I think Google has a hiring freeze that was announced recently, Meta has a hiring freeze. And I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, it's making me a little bit nervous because it feels like a recession might actually happen later this year. I'm just here to say that I'm also stressed. I'm also freaking out right now as well. You're not alone. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm scared, but let me just talk about how I'm preparing for this upcoming recession. Of course, you know, you gotta stay ready so you don't have to get ready. God forbid they lay you off. So what I'm doing is, you know, I'm keeping my resume fresh, keeping my LinkedIn fresh, keeping my website fresh, just in case anything happens. I'm also definitely like on the more personal finance aspect, I'm trying to increase my emergency fund because, you know, if there is a recession, I would like to have at least a year's worth of savings. So I've been, you know, cutting 
cutting back on my more material girl ways and directing more money into my savings. I'm also still investing in the stock market because stocks right now are at a huge discount, so I'm still investing. But all I have to say is I don't have any advice. I was gonna talk about how maybe you think we're still safe, but at this point, I am scared. I'm scared. We'll see what happens. Like. I'll be walking through this ride of a journey, so we'll see what happens. I'm getting ready to go into the office today. It's about nine o'clock. I'm gonna get into the office probably like 11. Let me also show you my fit for the office. I'm wearing like, you know, casual pants. I don't know if you guys can see them. I'm wearing a, you know, this top. I wear this top like all the time. I'm getting ready to go into the office today and I'll show you what working in the office looks like. So I do actually prefer working from home even though the office is extremely beautiful because I'm not a big fan of commuting. So I typically go in only for team bonding activities or when I'm getting lunch with someone, which is why I'm going in today is because we have a team bonding event on Little Island. And this is what a typical workday in the office looks like. Mm -hmm. 